All right. So I drew a line just across the top of the design on this, what was a dust ruffle. I just used a regular pencil, not trying to be exact right now. So I'll go ahead and start cutting this. I like doing this. I'm not a very good hammer. Um, so having the finished edge, it makes it just a... If I didn't have the serger, I would just iron or fold this over really sharp. Like so. And then straight stitch it. This just makes it easier for me. Because I tend to work a little sloppy. I'll turn this under to do a straight stitch. We'll straight stitch this. Oh, I had the pins in backwards. I do that all the time. Mm, plugging the machine in. That's always a good idea. We're off to a good start today, aren't we? Then we'll take this over and start pinning on the sleeve. Let's see, I'll want this to probably stop right in the under part. Hmm, this would probably be easier if I took it off the dress form. I need to slip my arm in here and make sure that this isn't too long, and if it is, I can take off this section before I get too much done here. And this will fit Catherine about the same as it does me, and that is perfect. So I'll finish pinning, and then we'll finish sewing. All right, what I did here on the cuff after I got it pinned was to trim, leaving a little excess. So I'm going to go ahead and serge this. So I have a nice finished seam. I can fold it over, do a straight stitch while I'm sewing on the cuff to the shirt. Let's go over to the sewing machine. We've attached the, the cuffs to the sleeves, and if you remember that sloppy edge that we cut off of the bottom um, to shape, to get the right shape to the cotton shirt, I'm going to go ahead and straight stitch that, and then we'll put it back on the body form and see how it looks. Um, I'm only pinning a few inches here. For those of you who are going to want to pin the whole hem, I can't bring myself to pin the whole thing when I know I'm barely going to be uh, stitching not even a quarter of an inch over. 
And again, you know, pins and me, not a good combination. And then I'm, I basically know I just have to turn this in a little bit all the way around to the other side. And then I think we're done with the shirt. Let's see how this holds up. The tie in the back, I thought about removing, but it really does, for whoever's going to wear this, gives you more of a custom fit because you can just pull this right in and then it's, you know, a little bit more for universal size. The bottom of the shirt goes to the bottom of the shorts, okay? And there we've got our sleeves, our cuffs. I made a management decision. After trying on the shirt myself, the, uh, the wrist, the cuff that I put in, it was just too baggy. It didn't look tailored enough. So I'm going to go ahead, instead of doing buttons, we're going to just hand stitch, pulled this over a couple of inches, because there's all that extra fabric. And so this is uh, more of a petite area that goes around the, just above the wrist. So it'll look much more tailored. It'll look sharp and crisp. And I'll do a simple straight stitch all the way down to just the opening of this ruffle. And the anime version shirt is a lot more, it's fuller, has a lot more folds than this, uh, copy that my daughter got, but I'm going to also try to incorporate more of the detail in with the anime. There we go, I'll finish stitching and then we're done. I stole one of Catherine's chairs. Look at that, is that sad or what? I think after I'm done with the CL costume, we're gonna make her a seat cover for this little chair that she likes so much. I will cut them, then I'm going to <coughs> surge them. And, oh, you wanna meet the noisemakers? Ichigo and Tatsu. Ichigo Tatsu.